Hey, 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 it's Lori Alvarez, and we're live again today. So, hey, what are you guys doing when you're hanging out at home? What are you up to these days? What kind of work are you doing around the house? Just curious, right? So here are some great suggested items that we just sent out to everyone. If you're a homeowner and you're spending a lot of time at home, why not improve your number one investment? That's right, your home sweet home. So some suggestions, right? Gutters, do you have rain gutters? If you have them, fantastic. Take some time to clean them out yourselves or hire someone to do that, right? If you don't have rain gutters, get a great bid on it. Find out why it would benefit you. Rain gutters are hugely beneficial. Even though we don't get much rain here in California, still hugely beneficial for your property. Number two, siding. Do you have siding on the house? I'm not only going to say siding. I'm going to say stucco as well. Do you know that stucco can stop you from being able to sell your house to a financed FHA buyer? Interesting, right? You want to make sure your stucco is in great condition or your siding is in great condition. It's being taken care of and well maintained. Again, another thing, windows and screens. You wouldn't believe how many people expect screens to be on your windows when you're selling a house, right? Well, I want all the screens on the windows. I had one transaction I was doing. It was crazy. It was just as crazy. COVID just had broken in March, right? We were selling this great house in the desert and the buyer specifically asked on the request for repairs, screens to be on all windows. And my seller looked at me and he said, Lori, this is the desert. No one opens their windows, right? That's the truth. And Buyers expect screens on your windows, so make sure your screens are in great shape. They're re-screened, super easy. I've done it myself. Easy, easy task. And of course, you can just take it over to Ace Hardware or Home Depot and have them re-screened. Okay, what else do we have? Hot water heaters. Lubricate the circulating pump and motor. Hot water heaters. Watch your hot water heaters. I'm just telling you. Keep an eye on those because those babies leak and they can cause huge havoc in the house. Keep an eye on it. Make sure it looks great, right? Roof. Oh boy, roof. So it's really challenging right now to even get a roofer out to your property. If you're a great roofer, comment down below because roofing is the number one challenge for properties. You have old leaks. And they show up like they just showed up on a home inspection we did yesterday on a property one of my clients is buying. And the buyer was like, oh my gosh, is the roof leaking? That, that is huge. So you want to make sure you have that addressed. If it hasn't been fixed, get it fixed. It's causing you dollars over dollars over dollars challenges if you haven't fixed it yet. If it's been fixed. Clean up the area so that it's nice and neat. Disclose it up front so that your buyers don't panic when they come across the roof leak that you see in your garage ceiling that you know is no longer active. That can cost you tons of dollars, right? Decks or porches. Decks or porches, they sell, they make the difference, and they'll cost you a ton if they're not taken care of. This is where termites live. Of course, if you do a nice aluminum or aluma wood patio or something of synthetic material, it's actually worth it because termites don't get in there. But when you have wood material on your property, take care of it. I just had a transaction that the deck is having a challenge. It has a structural issue that needs to be fixed. We discovered that during the home inspection. And guess what? We're not selling the house now. We need to do some repairs so that we can feel like everyone is safe and secure. This stuff matters, guys. That's another one. Sprinkler systems. Come on, let's get our sprinklers up and running. I know we're supposed to keep water limited, not do too much. And so it's best to get your sprinklers up and running. And then my husband just downloaded this really cool app that runs his sprinklers. 
that tells him that his sprinklers went off at this time and that time. And oh, by the way, it won't go off this day because it's raining. That's so cool. Get yourself one. Work it out, right? Landscaping. Oh, landscaping's huge. Okay. I don't have a green backyard. I only have weeds. Turn them green. No one notices. They just want to see green in the backyard. Yes, come on. Landscaping is huge. Get your landscaping in order. Take care of it. It'll make your property look better. You'll feel better. And you'll go outside and use your entire space rather than just inside the house. We're all stuck at home, at home, right? We're all quarantined. You want to be able to enjoy your space. So take the time to make your backyard, front yard feel fresh and clean and better. It doesn't even need to be green grass. You could do a lot of things. You could put out pebbles. You could put out uh, bark. You could do a ton, right? Just do something with it that makes it feel great so that you use that space as well. Oh, I just went to a friend's house and they did a beautiful container garden, was raised containers throughout. Oh, it looked fantastic. And they get to eat from it. What a win-win. Uh, okay, foundation, huge, right? Walk the foundation of your property. Check it out. Make sure it looks good. And if you spot some deterioration, Focus on why is that happening? What should I do about it? And talk to someone, preferably a foundation specialist who can help you get it in order. You do this stuff in advance, you do it early, it saves you huge dollars down the road. Uh, and bathrooms, okay, bathrooms, bathrooms, bathrooms. You don't wanna do a complete remodel because you don't have the money. Fantastic, do some simple painting. Do some simple caulking in the showers, right? Clean up the tubs and the sinks. Just wipe it down. Clean it up. You could put a, just a new countertop on it if you wanted to and just new sinks and leave the existing vanity. There is so many ways to improve your home without costing you a ton of money. If you need help in this area or anywhere else, reach out to me. I have my, my trusted referral partners that I work with that are fantastic contractors um, that we can send out to you to help you out. And they'll give you exceptional service just like Lori Alvarez and team does. I'm Lori. Thanks for tuning in. Share this forward. If you know anyone who's thinking about buying or selling, reach out to us. We'd love to help them. You can contact me at 909 227 4196. And you can check us out at laurialvarez.net. We've got a lot of these tips on our podcast too. Download that Real Estate with Soul, the podcast. Thanks again.